Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be, basically, I'm going to show you how I did this. So, um, I recently did an apartment tour. I feel like I need to lift this camera up a little bit. If you guys saw my apartment tour, then you saw that I had this little piece of art on this wall back here. And it didn't really fit the wall, but also... I've been wanting to turn my desk to face the window because I've been really wanting to film with natural light and the window was to the left of me before and not in front of me so I tried to turn my desk but I had a shitty backdrop. It was just the wall and so I was racking my brain trying to figure out what I could do back there to make it kind of more visually interesting for you. And I did see a girl named Victoria and her channel is called In The Fro. Her blog is In The Fro. Her Instagram is In The Fro. She's gorgeous. She's beautiful. She's from the UK. And I saw a video of hers recently where she had like a magazine collage behind her. And I was like, ooh, I kind of am living for that aesthetic. You know, can I put my own spin on it? Is that something that I could do on this wall and, you know, make it look cool, but like focus it on beauty? I know she's like a fashion person. She's more like a fashion influencer. But like, could I do it kind of similar? And I love the look of the twinkle lights in the back. And I haven't been able to incorporate them in yet. I just did this today, but it's something that I'm going to probably do. But anyway, I just figured that I would vlog it and show you guys kind of the process, my thought process, and show you kind of the whole thing from start to finish, how I did it. And um, I'd love to get your feedback for you guys to let me know like what you think about it as a backdrop. So I'm going to actually cut to my regular camera and show you what it looks like when I would normally film. So we're going to do that at the end of the video. So I'm going to stop talking and we're going to jump into it. So if you guys want to see how I created this DIY wall collage artwork, then keep on watching. Oh, I'm about to shoot that stuff, so we're not going to pay much attention. These are all my eyeshadow palettes that I'm sort of going through for various videos. Again, we're not paying attention, but there's the wall. Now, when I did my apartment tour, I already kind of told you guys, like, this artwork is obviously too small for this wall, but I just hung it up there because that's what I had at the time, and I just had it left over, so I just stuck it there. But... I'm really wanting to do a collage wall so that way I can turn this desk towards the window and there will be a cute backdrop or at least something like semi cute. So I'm hoping this comes out good. Um, what I have here, this is a book um, by Mario Testino. He's a photographer and it's all pictures of Kate Moss throughout her career. So there's some really cool artwork in here or artwork like photography. Then I have a stack of Allure magazines because once upon a time I had a subscription. Oh, there's a random shape in there too. Um, they're all very old and I use them a lot for flat lays, but I thought there might be some good um, photography in there. And then this Vegas magazine I got and there are some really cool images in here, too. And there's this really cool photo shoot with this girl, and she's in a gown, in different gowns, and sneakers. It's really cute, but the thing that I'm trying to figure out is the sizing, because this magazine is obviously much bigger than these. So, and then these pictures are big as well they're they're bigger than this magazine so I feel like I kind of have to make a choice like if I go with the magazines I could probably squeeze this in but even the texture of this is different it's very thick it's a book so it's very thick so I feel like if I go this route I have to stick with this route and if I go with this route then I have to stick with this route but my dilemma is I don't want to ruin anything that I pull out by having to put tape on it. So I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to 
do it yet. I might just attach everything to this so that way it's kind of a piece of art kind of sticking out of the wall. Um, and then back here, let me move this table. This picture here was from that Kate Moss book. Like how freaking cute is this? And I was going to hang those, but those are too small for this wall as well. So I'm just going to kind of go through these magazines right now and figure out what I'm going to do. So I think I've decided I'm going to go the magazine route because I've found I found a bunch of good things in those um, and a couple randoms in these. And then if I have to go into here, I can. So I'm going to save the book because when I move into an actual house, I'd like to frame some of these. So I definitely don't want to ruin these. So we're going to go with the magazines because I can always get more magazines. <music> entire picture and now this actually looks like big enough um wasn't exactly the shape like I kind of wanted it to be in like a diamond shape but this is kind of the best I got um, because of the size of the photo I didn't want too much stuck to the wall I really wanted it to feel like this was a piece of art kind of coming out of the wall if that makes any sense so this is what I ended up settling on. I'm about to move all this around so I can actually see what I can see through my camera and decide if this is going to be good enough or if I have to extend it down at all and make it bigger. So that's what I'm figuring out right now. Okay, so here is the setup. My desk is now facing the window so I can get all of that natural light and try shooting with that. I don't know how I'm gonna like it, but at least for now, like I have, you know, something I can try. Okay, so here's what the final product looks like. I did move some of the, um, images around a little bit and I actually took the entire frame and I lowered it about an inch and a half on the wall just because I wanted a little bit more in my background once I looked through my camera. I just decided. So here is what the whole thing looks like. I actually love it. I think it looks really cute. It's like a cool piece of art and most of the images are taped to the picture frame so 
it does stick out like a piece of art. Like I really did want most of it on the frame, not the wall, because I didn't want it to look like a bunch of magazine things taped to the wall. I wanted it to just be like a piece of art. So I don't know. I like it. I think it's cute. I do want to put maybe some um, lights on it or something to add a little something extra to the background. I don't know. I tried putting the ones I had, but they're not bright enough. My desk chair is too far. I don't know if you can see the depth of field, but I'm sitting too far from the wall to really see much. So anyway, Gunner, what are you doing? Gunner, where are you? Oh, look, there's a bear. There's a bear under the couch. Anyway, I really like it. So let me know what you guys think. I mean, I guess it's all going to depend on what happens when I film my first video. <sighs> See if the lighting comes out good, but that was fun. That was a fun little project. All right, you guys, so here's what the new background looks like without any twinkle lights. Eventually, I would like to... Um, weave some twinkle lights in there so that I have them kind of lit up behind me. I'm going to work on that probably later. Um, but this is what the backdrop looks like for now. It's definitely better than just a plain blank wall. But let me know what you guys think about the lighting. It is like 5 p.m. right now, so I'm... It's a little bit darker... Like, there's not as much sun as there normally would be when I'm filming, so I'm kind of adjusting the lights. Hey guys, it's editing me here from the future. As I'm editing, I can see how blown out my face is. It's because I had my ring light on in front of me. It's the only light I had in front of me, and because the sun was going down and it looked kind of dark outside, I had the, f the ring light on full blast, and so it made me look blown out but I'll definitely be tweaking that it's a learning curve so just bear with me I really just want feedback in terms of the background and then just give me time with the lighting and when I think I have it I'll let you know and then you can let me know if it looks good to you but let me know what you think about the color and everything like that I'm messing with the warmth and the the white balance I'm just messing with all of the settings to just get it to look you know um better <laughs> i just want like you guys to see things true to color so i definitely just wanted to use the window and also have something you know in behind me that wasn't just a blank wall <laughs> so let me know what you guys think i hope you guys enjoyed this little video it was kind of random but i just figured i'd film it in case you guys were interested in seeing it uh, let me know your thoughts in the comments down below. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Hit the bell so you never miss when I upload a video. You can follow me on social. My handle's at Glam Latte. And don't forget the Glam Latte Beauty Podcast is on iTunes, Google Play, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, CastBox, and iHeartRadio. All those details are in the description box down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys. I just wanna hold you I just wanna look into your eyes